Well, welcome back. Um, had a question on the um, Black Max Chainsaw video I did here a while back. Uh, I believe it was Jeffrey wanted to know how to change uh, or how to install a chain on the Black Max. So let's just dive right into it. It's raining. I apologize um, for any sounds or anything that you're wondering what is it's, it's raining and i'm trying to get this done before my camera gets wet so you're going to start take your tool come with a, a black max and you're going to take these two bolts off the side right here and when, then when they're loose what you want to do or what helps me is loosen the chain and to do that you go counter clockwise I hope you get this kind of, see there now the chains loose okay and what that does it helps you it will help you get that side cover that has the uh, stud that m moves the chain follower forward and backwards okay while you have it off Check, see if there's any crud that needs to be cleaned out. There's that stud follower. Just loose it up. Yes, we have the crud. See all that stuff? Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Quite a bit of stuff in there. I have a brush someplace I usually use for that, but I'm kind of in a hurry today, so... Okay, here's our chain. Comes around the sprocket, goes behind there. So we're gonna push our bar in so we can get the chain off. We'll work it around that sprocket one way or another. This way is just take it off the chain. And I start at the tip. Of course, I, any other, ah. Oh. Behind. There we go. Now we got the chain off. Almost. We had a few more things in our way. It would help. No, I'm just joking. It wouldn't. Okay, the chain's off. Now, Jeffrey, I'm just sharpening that chain. I hate to pull a dull one on it. So I'm going to put this chain back on as if it was a new one. <laughs> now, one of the things you want to keep in mind is put the chain on the right way see the teeth the cutting teeth out right here this is the cutter right here it always faces on top of the bar always faces forward if you don't do that it's backwards and it won't cut worth crap okay so here's a sprocket you can see up in there but there's little teeth or cogs up in there that the chain will go around and that's what pulls the chain around the bar so let's get it in there okay it's over the sprocket and that's important because sometimes it doesn't get over the sprocket it sits one side and another and you want to I'm trying to get this all on camera get it over the bar what I'm going to do is pull this bar tight. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that my chain is aligned on the bar because sometimes it's not. Sometimes it gets to the side of the bar. Okay. Mm, excuse me. Um, still, I can get a little cleaner, but that's pretty good. Eh, I'm not going to go find my brush so now that we've got that over remember these teeth are pointing forward okay now we're going to line this stud right here up with this hole in the bar now if you had your bar flipped which is a good idea every once in a while you would line up that hole but it, it's going to go right in there what I do, I usually lay it right here, like so. Just kind of give me an idea 
uh, line these bolt holes up for the bolts and I can see I'm pretty close but I need to pull that bar forward a little bit more that should get me in there now it can be a booger to get these lined up just right so yeah where's my on there but it's not in there if this doesn't go all the way against your saw that stud is not in there and I'm gonna have to loosen it up a little bit a little bit more counterclockwise okay there went in there see it went all the way up now I'm gonna put my nuts back on I'm not gonna tighten them up I'm just gonna get them just where they, they're starting to snug. Now, when I go to tighten the chain, it is very important that you pick up on the tip of the saw or tip of the bar now as you can see these aren't very tight I just just where I start re meeting resistance with the side plate okay I don't want it very tight right now pick it up I'm going to turn this adjuster clockwise to tighten the chain oh I said I was in there maybe I got a little too tight and people said well why do you have to pick the bar up well because when you're cutting, that bar comes up, whether you think it does or not, it does. Okay. I can deal with it. Oh, it help if I get in the right slot, I think. Yeah, it always helps if you're in the right slot. That's what you get for. Okay, now the chain is oops. Tightening up. I don't know if y'all can see there or not. Now I like my chain have just a little bit of snap to it. Just like that. Oh, see I was in a cog in there. Falling on top of a cog. And when I pulled it, it came off. So that's good. And you still got a little bit more play in that chain. Okay, just like that, it snaps back just a little bit. That's where I want it. Now I'm going to tighten these. Go ahead and tighten these all the way, all the while pulling up on the bar. There's one more little thing we're going to do after we get done here. I want these tight now. No halfway done okay next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take this adjuster and i'm going to there's usually a little slack sometimes there's not most times there's just a little bit maybe an eighth of a turn see there move just a little bit got a little snap on my chain okay now what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to fire it up and I'm going to run it just a little few a minute or so and stop it and I'll check the ch chain again and if there's loose or it's too tight I will readjust it okay let's start this and see how the chain is snap to it perfect that is how you replace a chain on a black mac chainsaw 
or really any other chainsaw except for maybe sometimes the adjustment for the chain is it on the side like this and sometimes it's right here so Jeffrey I hope that helps again I can't stress enough make sure your chain is pointed you know that your cutters are paint pointed forward I know common sense right I think anybody who's cut wood long enough has at one time or another put the chain on backwards I haven't of course I, of course I'd never admit it but you know may have happened Donald, One Acre Homestead. Like and subscribe. Share this video with others. I appreciate it. Share it on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, whatever. I appreciate it. Talk to you later.